I know. Don't even, don't even start. I know I've been gone. I know, I know, I know. Before we even get into it, I have missed y'all. Um, this summer, I was just taking some time to myself. Truly, you know, knocking some stuff out that I needed to knock out for Chelsea. And I missed it. I missed our conversations. I missed having our coffee talks. So, baby, go get you a coffee, a tea, um, your drink of preference, whatever, because we are about to get into it. All right. So before we even get to it, this is a grande um, vanilla cream cold brew. One of my go to's. I already know if you've been tuning in, you know that I, I stay in a constant state of reevaluating my surroundings that you know goes for people places activities habits whatever the case may be like i always evaluate what's best for me and if it doesn't align with with what i have going on it has to go the topic of friendship has been on my mind for the last few months and it's a very uncomfortable conversation to have which is why we're having it okay so how do you know if they are a friend or a foe? How do you know, friend or foe? People are really good at manipulating your emotions. People are really good at studying you, learning your behaviors, learning your weaknesses, learning what makes you tick. Let's start there. Sometimes I feel like our friends turn into foes. I don't think they necessarily may have started out as such, but they ended up as a foe. As over the years, I've learned that in order to have good friends, you in fact have to be a good friend, right? So oftentimes, you know, I think we're waiting for people to show up in the way that we would show up. What does it even mean to be a friend? Like, you want to be my friend, but what, is it, what does that word even mean to you? What the f***? <laughs> the way that people handle situations or react to situations is oftentimes tied to their experiences, their perspectives. And your experience in life shapes your perspective. So if you and I weren't brought up the same way, inherently, our definition of life in itself is going to be different so therefore your definition of what a friend may be it, it may be a little different from mine not to say that it's wrong but i think that that's important to establish once you start becoming really serious about who you want in your life do your values align do you know your core values do do they really align not because you know you like to have fun and you want to go drink and you want to go smoke hookah and have somebody to go to the club with whatever do they truly align just like any other relationship, you have to, to put time into it. You have to put effort into it. And if one person in the relationship is not growing inherently, someone is going to outgrow the other party. And I think that that happens more often than not. I think that when you have an individual in a relationship, which is the friendship in this, in this scenario, who chooses to evolve who chooses to become better, who chooses to seek more, inherently, if that other person, if that friend, that sister, who, if they are not chasing the same things, you are going to leave them behind by default. And that's not a good feeling. Um, it's not a good feeling to wake up one day and feel like you can't really have a conversation with your friend. It's not a good feeling to wake up one day and just know that y'all are about to talk about the same thing you've been talking about for the last five years. And at some point, you have to do what's best for you and acknowledge the fact that you are you are hindering your own growth sometimes by allowing people to become a leech. And again, it's not because people are intending to be leeches. It's what's happening inherently. Iron sharpens iron. If I can't call you and you can't, like you can't pour into me that is an issue if i'm the one that's doing all the pouring i have to find different cups like i, I, I got we got to figure something else out this ain't this isn't this isn't healthy for me it's cool for everybody else 
But what about me at the end of the day? Um, so friend or foe, right? How do you know time? Your intuition. You know. You know when it's time to cut a motherfucker off. You know. It's just easier to give them another chance. It's easier to overlook their flawed character. It's easy to just say, well, I'm not going to talk to them as often, right? Because the friends that I need around me need to tell me the truth. The friends that are around me need to be on the same page of of growth. They need to be chasing it. You don't need to do the same things that I'm doing. You don't need to be out here, oh, running as fast as I am. No, but it, as long as I know that you're trying to do better, and I, as long as I know that you're making a conscious effort to better yourself, it's really difficult for me to be like, no, you ain't shit. No, like, cool, I could work with that. I can work with that. That's not a problem. That's that's not a problem for me. What I have an issue with is being beyond correction. If you are calling yourself anybody's friend and you are above being corrected, you feel like you are above correction, this conversation is for you. If every time someone tries to bring something to your attention about you and it turns into, oh, ain't nothing wrong with me or I'm grown, you ain't finna tell me this, I'm gonna do what I want. Listen, that's enough for me because that, that lets me know where you're coming from because at the end of the day, we're all grown. We all choose to do what we wanna do. But if I trust you enough to say that you're my friend, you're my sister, and I say something is going on with you or I'm trying to be bring something to your attention that I can clearly see is about to happen for you and you're hell bent on doing it your way, that's fine. You don't need to do it my way. I'm just trying to bring awareness to the situation, right? But if you're like, if you're so adamant about being right, sometimes being right is just not important. Sometimes you need to sit down and shut the fuck up and listen to people and listen to what they are telling you, especially the people who have known you the longest, <laughs> the people who have been around you for the longest amount of time, right? So if, if I'm, I'm in a position where someone tries to tell me something about me and my ego gets in the way of my own growth and my development, or this is an opportunity for me to become better and I just won't listen, or I won't even take the time to, to hear what the other person has to say. It's not somebody on the street. This is someone who you trust dearly this is someone that you love dearly this is your friend this is your sister so for me I feel like people have situations that can turn them into foes because of their own issues that they haven't solved yet the problem for me if your ego gets in the way of you becoming better that's a that's a huge red flag for me having the ability to be genuinely happy, number one, is a bottom line for me. Like, I don't, know, I don't expect you know somebody to be happy twenty four seven. But if I call you, or if every single time you call me, there's a problem, you got always in some drama. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Like, I don't want to hear that because I have to be truthful with myself and I have to be truthful with you and just <clears throat> acknowledge the fact that you always got some drama, some mess going on because there, life does happen. Things do happen, yes. But there isn't a reason why you always got some shit going on. Mm -mm. No, that's not for me. It might work for someone else, but for where I am and where I'm going, that doesn't work for me, right? So... What does a foe look like, Chelsea? We say all that to go back to the original question. Your foe, how do you know? Again, it goes back to your intuition or it boils down to us not ignoring the signs. Like we, we let a lot of stuff slide when it comes to, you know, other people, what we entertain and, you know, it's not a problem until it is a problem. 
we allow so much to just happen sometimes instead of taking the initiative to evaluate our friendships and our relationships. Just because you've known somebody from the age of 10, that doesn't mean that they serve you at 32. It doesn't suggest that they don't love you, but that friendship may not serve you, okay? And a lot of times when you have these relationships that have time, you know, put in, you you have some time behind y'all, it's difficult for people to view you based off of who you are today and who you used to be. Um, if people aren't truly happy with themselves, it is really hard for them to be happy for you. And I think that is when it happens or that is one of many ways that you have friends that can turn into foes. People are genuinely out here trying to figure it out and they are miserable. They are just they are fucking miserable and they put on a mask and they put on this this facade and they go out in the world and they try their best to be happy for you but you'll always know because it'll come out as jealousy as envy as you know slick fucking comments that they mean you know like we have to start taking accountability for what we allow in our lives and if we don't have the relationships and the friendships that we truly desire um that's our fault that's our fault like if I don't have the circle of friends or the the women around me that I truly I truly want a certain caliber of woman around me that's up to me that's up to me because we have gotten to a place within our society especially with women where our friendship and our sisterhood is so skewed right now because we can't tell each other the truth because the moment you tell somebody the truth or or your truth anyway you know your perspective you a hater oh you hating Am I am am I a hater though? Like, or I'm just trying to not have you out here looking crazy. But you know, that that has been on my mind. There are a lot of people that are around you right now that probably aren't your friend. Um there there may be some people around you that in their heart they feel like they are doing right by you. They feel like they do love you and they want the best for you, but you have to evaluate the source of that. If I have an individual who is in my space that isn't necessarily making sound decisions for themselves, how can I trust you to make a sound decision for me? Right? So, it, it, these, listen, these are just uncomfortable conversations that we need to start having um not to say that they aren't happening but we need to start having them a little bit more often because uh, it's a lot of stuff going on out here if y'all haven't noticed and we have to get back to back to the basics sometimes like and the basics you know we're so concerned about oh friends 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 this friends let me tell you but some of us are truly holding on to these dead relationships and you need to let them go um because you need to make room for a real sisterhood that you are truly seeking and you can't you can't have that as long as you're holding on to old shit that outdated ways of thinking and operating like you need to let it go um and i say all that because i'm talking to myself like i know for a fact that i need to clean house it's not as easy you know as having a conversation and drinking coffee <laughs> like it's not because you love them but i love me more though like i love myself way more than some of the stuff that some people are out here doing and putting themselves in position. It's just really interesting to me how we can have this standard for ourselves, but then like, it's just okay for someone else to just be out here wilding the fuck out. Like, it's not up to me to tell you how to live your life. We don't correct each other anymore. To start correcting each other. Because if you have a friend who you can call and y'all can go smoke hookah with and go shopping and leave the country, but this is the same woman who's not taking care of her children. We what are you what are we doing? 
what are we doing because if you can plan trips and do all this other stuff you can take care of your children because this is a real thing it's not i'm not don't even sit here and talk about oh chelsea with a man i'm not talking to the men i'm talking to well, people who look like me we need to start correcting each other because that's not okay and it starts with simple acts like that. Because no, nobody's not going to sit here and tell me that that's not happening. That's a real thing. It's happening out here. Motherfuckers is out here living their best life. And they got kids that you don't even talk about. Wouldn't even know you to go out here and broadcast. Let's be clear. Some of y'all's priorities is messed up. And like I said, we need to get back to correcting one another. Without getting angry. We have to be okay with constructive criticism. We have to be okay with people telling us the truth. Because this is why a lot of us are in situations that we are in right now because somebody's lying to your face every day instead of telling you the truth. Okay? Uh, some of y'all's friends are bums. Some of y'all's friends are bums and you're not telling them. Let's talk about it. Some of y'all's friends are bums and you're not telling them that they're bums. It's a lot of bum behavior going on out here in these streets. But we not we're not telling the truth anymore. So, shoot, you might be the foe. <laughs> you might be the foe. I don't know. I don't know. Like, we just got to tight. We got to tighten up. I don't know. This is, this is weird out here. We need to start telling the truth again. Clean out your, your stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, we are so busy worried about the wrong stuff. Like, get these people who don't mean you well out of your life. Get from around that. Remove the people who don't mean you well out of your life. And it's so obvious sometimes, but we just won't do it because, oh, well, I love them. Get out of here with that. Y'all, we are wasting so much time by giving people access to us that they just truly don't deserve. Like, we're wasting a lot of time. A lot of time. So let me save you some. Slow down. Look at the actions of people versus what they're saying. Create a standard for yourself regarding the friendships that you want. Are they meeting the bare minimum for said friendship? And move forward. Like, we, there's so much life to live. Life is so beautiful. And I just kind of refuse to slow down anymore because... I care about people so much. And I'm having this conversation because I've spent years of my life slowing down for other people because I wanted them to be okay. Because I wanted the best for them. And the best for them, I can't I can't determine that. I can't dictate what somebody else should or shouldn't do. I can only tell you what I would do. And then that's where that comes from. Well, I don't think you should do this. Well, that that's on you. Like, that's what you would do for you. You can't speak for someone else. So, friend or foe, I don't know. Slow down and figure it out. Because a lot of y'all, y'all say they friends, but a lot of people are around you because they want to keep tabs and they want to have access. They want an easy way to get access to what you have access to. You are a, you are an open door for them. You're an opportunity these are the things that we go through as women that we just kind of like, oh, well, you know, I've known her for X amount of years and, you know, she's just going through something. Stop making excuses for people. Well, motherfuckers, sh stop making excuses for people. Yes, people go through stuff. They do. People do go through things. But stop making excuses for people's poor behavior and their clear and blatant decisions when they make them okay i don't make i don't make excuses for people anymore i used to oh well they're going through this and they're just upset and they're this and they're that it's, there are many ways to say fuck you millions of ways so hope that wasn't too strong coming back friend or foe baby i don't know let's do some homework inventory Figure it out. Friend or foe or bum. Friend, foe, or bum. We got to do better, y'all. <laughs> we really need to do better. Cannot sit here and talk about correcting generational curses and reversing all this stuff if we don't get to the basics. Friend or foe. Clean up your circle, y'all. Clean up your circle. 
Let's 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 tighten up who has access to us. Everybody doesn't need to be in your face, okay? They just don't. They don't. As much as you may love them, love them from afar, because just a lot of people just don't have the best intentions for you, and that's a sad truth. So that's it for me. That's all I got today, baby. Friend or foe? I don't know. But you're going to have to go figure it out. So, on that note, I want everyone to have, as per usual, have a great week. Have a productive week. And let's just pay attention to what we're entertaining and what we allow ourselves to be involved with. And who we allow in our inner circle, in our sacred spaces. Because that's important. Okay? So, don't be mad. Don't be mad at what I just said. Hear it. I don't need you to get upset. I just need you to understand like this is real out here. Okay, so if you around there, if you if you're sitting up here tight and you're mad, I'm sorry. Not sorry. But these are real conversations that we need to have. Okay? So, boop. Talk to you later. Mm -hmm.